What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation for you guys. Invest 92L is organizing at a very quick pace right now. We're starting to see increasing th thunderstorm activity towards the center of circulation. We're also starting to see more pronounced rotation, more pronounced outflow with this system going on, and the NHC is picking up on this too. They have now upped the probability to an 80% chance of formation in the next seven days, 60% in the next 48 hours, so there is now more than a 50-50 chance of this thing developing as quick as tonight if it wanted to. So that's something that we're looking at right here. A tropical depression is likely to form by the early to middle portion of next week. Honestly, considering what I'm seeing right now, I wouldn't be surprised if this develops by tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon at this rate. Tonight's really going to be key on what happens because the quicker that this system is going to develop, the the basically the more time it has to organize, the more time it has to strengthen, essentially. And it has plenty of warm water, which is right here, 28 plus degrees Celsius, Plenty of OHC once it gets to the western part of the uh, main development region. And the shear where it's going to be in intercepting, at least right now in the eastern Atlantic, it's there's not really that much shear at this current time. So if it can continue to capitalize off of all of this stuff, it will absolutely do, uh, do something right there. Now we're going to go ahead and show you what we have right here. We have the latest information. Once again, still 20 knots of wind. Pressure is still 10, 11 millibars, although I would expect that to start dropping very shortly once this become, once this fully develops right here. And the location to 10 degrees north, 27.4 degrees west. And now we have new model runs that we need to show you right here. We're going to go ahead and start with the HMON run and then the GFS and then the, uh, then the HWARF. The HMON run has things developing very quickly, potentially within the, uh, potentially within the next 15 hours or so, 10 to 15 hours. The pressure's down to 1,007 millibars. Winds are at 50 knots or so in this system at 850 millibars. That's probably going to translate to 45, 50 miles per hour down on the ground. It's going to organize, continue to develop right here. It potentially starts acquiring hurricane strength within two days, according to the HMON. And it starts developing a very decent core, according to this, as this is approaching the Lesser Antilles right here. And by five days out, we're at 986 millibars. Winds and winds almost 90 knots at one at 850 millibars, which is about 5,000 feet up. So this is what it's calling for is once again a mid-range Category 1 hurricane. Next mile run we're going to go ahead and show you is the GFS. And the GFS we are going to show about five days into the future of that. So this is what we got going on. This thing organizes and strengthens very quickly according to the GFS. It actually has it developing at this rate in the next few hours or so. So that's what we're looking at right here potentially in the next 18 hours. And it organizes, develops, strengthens, potentially into a minimal hurricane two days out, and then continues to develop. It does start to get weakened as the potential dry air, some a little bit of wind shear starts developing in that area before it gets to the Lesser Antilles. But by five days out, it is calling for a Category 1 hurricane, a decent-sized core right here, and winds at, uh, winds at 850 over 90 knots. And we can go ahead and show you that sounding right there. It's around 95 knots or 85, 90 knots or so. So that's what we got going on. If we go out to seven days out, this is what it has it doing. It has it rapidly intensifying, potentially to a Category Three hurricane. We're looking at we're looking at wind speeds at 850 at over 120 knots, which that can definitely convert down if uh, it does if it is done properly. And by 168 hours out, we're looking at a 962 millibar low high end Cat two low end Cat three potentially system according to the GFS right here. Last one we're going to go ahead and show you is the H-Wharf. The H-Wharf is pretty aggressive, but right now, considering how quickly this is developing, I wouldn't be surprised if this verifies, at least for the next 24 hours. Because the next 24 hours actually has this organizing and developing, and the, and the winds by, at 850 are over 70 knots in some of these areas. The winds down to the surface, according to the sounding as we are about to pull up, it's around 50, 60 knots or so. So that's something we have to keep in mind right here this to me looks like a 60 mile per hour tropical storm more than a category one hurricane it will continue to organize and it will continue to strengthen as it develops a core where it's at right here and this is interesting because the h wharf 
at least to five days out where it's going, actually has it heading towards the Lesser Antilles. And you can see at the last bit right here, it potentially, if it continues at this track, it'll continue moving through into the Leeward Islands. And we have the track model right here. The H Wharf is right, pretty much right here. This is where the Lesser Antilles. Now, if that, if that Bermuda High that is pretty much up here if that is stronger than antici we anticipate definitely could lead some to some impacts in the leeward islands at least maybe even the virgin islands but we'll not get there just yet we'll have to wait and see when it comes to that we're still about seven days or so away from impact but we are going to continue to update you here on the pat's path predictor channel about this invest about this thing developing and organizing very quickly but with that being said we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new it helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.